what you're doing to us today. I remind you, Father, this is Sarah. For those of you that weren't at Mariah's last night, Dan made a reference to how I've always been one of his biggest fans, which is undoubtedly true. Um, one of the biggest things I've always admired about you is that no matter where you're at, no matter what the situation, you're always yourself. And that's something I've tried to take away from you, and I pride myself on, and I owe that to you. You know, in this day and age where people are so quick to judge and criticize, it, it takes a lot of courage to always be yourself. And so I thank you for passing that on to me. Um, you know, growing up, I always thought you'd be the first one to get married and have kids. <laughs> For those of you that know us, I think you can understand why. But uh, I'm really glad that time worked out the way it did and that you found fair because you guys complement each other so well. And there's so many things I wanted to say, but when I saw your face waiting for her coming down the aisle, I think it said it all. And I wish you guys all the happiness, all the love in the world. I love you guys and I'm happy to have Ferris family is a part of our family now. Well, the first night I met Ferris was pretty interesting. <laughs> and I think from that day forward, I knew uh, she was a unique individual. Uh, I'm not going to tell the story. Say thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing bad. It's, uh, it was a fun night. But uh, anyway, you guys are both very unique individuals, and you're always, you are who you are, and no one will ever change that. And I think it's very cool to find two people who can do that together, and, and you still have your own uniqueness, and uh, you're not compromising. You know, you're working together to make something greater good. and. Uh, I think you guys are a great example for the world on, you know, you know, the whole world needs to see this. And this is what, how we all can come together and become a better place. Like, you guys are a great example of that. And uh, hopefully the rest of the world can learn from you too. Fair, I know you go all over the world, so spread the word. <laughs> but anyway, I wish you guys many years of health and happiness. And here's to Dan and Farrah. Farrah's my best friend. I've known her for exactly 26 and a half years, to be precise. We met because our moms volunteered together to run the school book club. This was in Dubai, um, back when we were just starting out in school. We were stuck in a room while our moms sorted through books. Farrah looked over at me and very seriously said, want to play hangman? <laughs> I shrug my shoulders, sure. And we've been friends ever since. Fair and I essentially grew up together. Though we were parted at times by oceans, even by continents, we shared a number of commonalities that bonded us. We came from multicultural families. We lived in the Middle East, but we shared strong mid Midwestern roots. We grew up together. We played Barbies together. We joined the Girl Scouts together. We crimped our hair together. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, we cruised around town in her shiny new SUV, thinking we looked very, very cool together. And most recently, we summited Mount Kilimanjaro together after a very long and difficult journey. And now she's asked me to share a part in her big day. I couldn't have been more honored. Fira, you've impacted mine and so many other lives for the better. You bring your positive outlook and vivacious personality to everything that you do. You strive to make the world a better place every single day. I'm just so proud of who you've grown up to be. I'm so proud to be standing here today with you, Dan. I couldn't be happier that you found such a kind, considerate, and supportive man 
with the strong values that you share. Together, you two are an unstoppable force. Congratulations. Special thanks to everyone who um, has come from so far. We have folks from the East Coast, the West Coast, from the Midwest right here in Springfield, as well as folks from overseas. Um, we're so blessed and thankful that you are all here to, to share in this day um, with us. <clears throat> there are two people I, I, I want to thank them uh, because they don't realize. The, the power and impact they have um, with their bravery and their courage uh, through the difficult things that Glenn and Elaine and Weatherford just raised in here. You two are so inspirational. Um, without going into the details, I, I love you guys in my heart and I am just very honored and, and I learned a lot from, from you guys' bravery and strength. So thank you. Give me a hand, please. Um, back to here. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I hope that you uh, enjoyed last night. Um, we really tried to make this this weekend about um, two cultures coming together, uh, two people from diverse backgrounds, or well, not so diverse, you but right, <laughs> but from two different backgrounds, um, and we tried to put it all together in a nice way and. Um, we hope that you're able to appreciate that. And thank you so much for coming and, and spending so much uh, time and energy last night and then again tonight. Um, and we'll do it again just like we did last night. So thank you again. I want to say thank you so much to my parents um, for last night and for, for everything that you did for us last night. Uh, it really means a lot. And you guys you guys know from last night, you rock. We don't need to cry again. So, all right. Great. Thank you, Dino. <laughs> um, so I took away a couple of things that I thought I should highlight. Apparently, Dan and I are really unique individuals. You <laughs> would have thought it. <laughs> um, I, I just want to say thank you all to each and every person in this room. You and your support is tremendous. Your presence here tonight is exceptionally appreciated especially to my mom, Barbara Salim, for all of the wonderful work that she's done to be my wedding planner from afar, and to Dan's parents, Mike and Kim, um, my new parents as well. And I just wanted to say that as, as everyone has come to learn or knows, I, I do believe in diplomacy, and I am really, really proud and exceptionally happy tonight to have in one room so many people of different backgrounds and experiences coming together because 
I love this guy. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm really, really happy that you're here. Um, wherever you come from, wherever we go from here, know that we really, really appreciate your support. And it means a lot to us. And the Polish, the Pakistani, the Slovak, the everything in between. Uh, we, we really love you. And we hope you just have so much fun tonight. We try to make everything as special as possible. And um, please just enjoy every moment. This is what I'm learning. Just capture the moment. So carpe diem, carpe moment. And um, <laughs> we love each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't say not a love is true.
Give him a big round of applause.